gets into box six. All locked away for the last wrap up of Good Days Racing here today for the Auckland Greyhound Racing Club. Corborn Kiwi off the inside favourite for Ross and Lynn. Ready. And racing jumped out OK to Corborn Kiwi, but uh, not as good as the Cream de Jean, just going to go and hit it off. And now trying to scoot around the outside is Vakirisly doing it well too. Just in behind Hot King Kong, outside of that is just about ready. Two or three back to call time, also planting B and Beale Street. They go for home. In front here is Cream de Jean, out wide. Corborn Kiwi goes again. Oh, this is very close. Corborn Kiwi's had a lunge here at the Cream de Jean. This is very close. It could go either way. Then we go to Vicariously, just about ready, was in behind that. Uh, then on crossing here to call time made up a bit of ground, Prancing B ahead of that one uh, would have been Hot King Cole and the other one there Beale Street if I didn't call it Gee, great finish here Corborn Kiwi has come with a big run down the outside over the four Cream de Jeans who looked the winner halfway down and the one does get up to Corborn Kiwi, didn't uh, get, stay anywhere near the rail, he's come to the very outside and right over the top here the one will get up here for Ross Judy and Lynn Bleak. One big win over the downgrade at Cream de Jeans and eight vicariously into third ahead of the five. That time, 18.85. A half by one. And that sectional time, that run up time, 4.64. And the run home, 14. 21. 1, 4, 8 and 5, Corborn Kiwi, a recent downgraded to Class 1 and gets the win here for Ross Judy and Lynn Bleak of Tikawata. Off the inside draw, didn't stay on the rail, came to the outside of the track, but got the job done well ahead of the four Cream de Jeans. Won't be spending much time in Class 1 and 8, vicariously going a much better race here for the Black Steel team into third. Wraps up a good day's racing here today, Mark, thanks for your company throughout the afternoon on behalf of the team here at Monaco. A very good afternoon uh, and happy Easter to you all and I'll catch you at Hattrick Raceway and that uh, meeting underway around one o'clock on Monday. Take care. Thank you, Daryl. Afternoon to you and uh, happy Easter. Yep, with uh, Peter Rooley having his uh, annual Easter break. Uh, Daryl filling in along with Mark Rosanowski there at uh, Monaco today. We thank him for his efforts there and heading to Whanganui for the Easter Monday meeting at Hattrick in a couple of days' time. So that wraps it up. We'll have the official results shortly from the 12th and last. Just a reminder that uh, with the timetable changes, the first out of Oak Bank, you can see Johnny Wheeler's colours already underway in the hurdle. The first at Oak Bank. Gee, that's a great meeting to go to. Head to Oak Bank and take in the Von Dusa on the first day. The hurdle's happening now. And then on the second day, the Great Eastern and uh, the big hurdle as well. What a carnival there at Oak Bank in South Australia. So that race is happening on Trackside 1, the hurdle event at the moment. The next race here on TAB Trackside 2 is the 7th from Harwater, the Collingwood Traffic Management Mobile Pace over the 2,000 metres. This 7th event as we come off uh, a success for the locals with Righteous Royale, Brendan Towers, locally training at Harwater. And Scotty Phelan taking the win in race number six on the program. This one, the Class 1 Mobile. You've got uh, JC Jock there, runner number six in shot. It's at $11. Favourite is Celtic Warrior. Tim Vince races. Andrew Grant prepares. And Salish Abernathy taking the drive. Closed up pretty short in the driver's challenge. Wrapping things from Monaco this afternoon. One Corborn Kiwi, two seventy and $1.50. Four cream to jeans, two forty, eight vicariously, one dollar fifty. One and four pays fourteen dollars, one four eight trifecta ninety two seventy, and the one four eight five first four two hundred and eighty five twenty. Winners time eighteen and eighty five. Three and one double thirty six fifty. Three and four concession at ninety four, and the five three one treble three hundred and fifty one sixty. TAB Quaddy of 1 5 3 and 1, 404 70, and the Auckland Place 6 paid $104.10. So, a couple of minutes away here, Celtic Warrior, start number 39 today, and uh, grass form's not too bad. It's placed 4 from 9 on the green stuff. Second elect is Ahoka Bud, who's at start number 4. Uh, Southern are here, trained by Mark Fuller at Whedon. Southerners have already had success up here 
today. Craig Thornley was the driver of the Stephen McRae runner Indiana Jones earlier in the afternoon. Craig's driving here with uh, Mark Fuller's runner Ahoka Bud, son of Christian Cullen, with the blinds on today. It's the second elect at 680 in the tote mark at 550 on the options betting. And then one God's delight, Dylan Ferguson for Wendy Ferguson Family Affair. She races and trains. Mare by Better's Delight was a winner four starts ago and was second to the talented Stars and Sound at the Manawa 2 last Sunday. God's Delight off the pole. It's in the head to head. 230 plays 155, option 727. Aaron White, so we come to you. 9, 1, 3, and 12 for you in the seventh. Yeah, we're on the way of the nine Celtic Warrior. I think he uh, finds himself in a nice race here. He's won three from uh, 38. Inside second row draw is going to get a nice enough run from there and behind God's Delight. So Les Shevanathy for Andrew Grant. Uh, that gets a uh, top billing for me. The nine over the one. God's Delight, as you mentioned, very good last time and behind Stars and Sound at uh, Manawa 2. Uh, she does make her grass track debut here uh, today. Does God's Delight, the better's Delight mare, and she can certainly make it a winning one from Barrier 1. There's the head-to-head, 2.30. It's attractive money, God's delight. It's going to be in front of Celtic Warrior, you'd think, with the draws. So uh, 2.30 at this stage, getting to a backable price, I'd say, with the God's delight, even though I've tipped Celtic Warrior on top. Uh, we've got the uh, three, Ahoka Bud, uh, Christian Cullen, uh, Gelding, nice winner down at Ascot Park. That was uh, two starts ago back in mid-January. Mark Fuller, Craig Thornley's been given a freshen up. And the uh, Christian Cullen uh, Gelding look very good. Uh, there he is on screen there through his uh, prelim. Looks a big, strong son of Cullen, doesn't he, uh, Hoka Bud? Uh, just as I say that, he plays up as he comes up in behind the mobile and the 12 in the mix here to Pete Tomadu. So the runner's coming forward, Ahoka Bud. He was caught on the back foot as a mobile left, but he's uh, found his hopples now, and he should find his rightful spot in behind the Revital Fertilizers mobile gate here for Craig Thornley. So they work into the home straight. So this is the uh, Collingwood Traffic Management a mobile pace, a mile and a quarter, 2,000 favourite Celtic Warrior. Won the second line. Green light flashes. Gavin Benton sends them on their journey. God's delight out nicely with Murphy Brown. A hoker bud trying to slice across and get the trail here for Thornley. Uh, he's done it at this stage. Uh, restraining there is Celtic Warrior. They're followed by Cut the Cards. Then uh, Bally is followed by JC Jock. Back on the inside was McRubble as Taffer Alley went for an early gallop. Soul Man gets back with Arcano. Pete Tomadu's back in the field with Billy the Bad. And after that early gallop, Taffadelli back last. God's Delight held up the lead. Ahoka Bud. He's uh, managed to find the trail here and coming forward three wide as JC Jock around Murphy Brown. And Soul Man also progresses forward three wide. Back on the inside, Celtic Warrior now four back. The inner as JC Jock goes and finds the lead. Ballius comes forward three wide around, cut the cards. Back in the field is Arcano, Pete Tomadu and McRubble. Two lengths away, Billy the Bad and Tafford Alley. And Davy Jones back last as they pace down to the 1200. Collingwood traffic management pace. And in front, JC Jock being attacked up on the outside now by Ballius and uh, coming forward, Arcano three wide now to sit out Park the Grey. God's delight in the trail in Soul Man as Pete Tomadu's galloped through the back. Ahoka Bud now three back on the inside. Celtic Warrior four back with Murphy Brown to its outside. Then cut the cards. Uh, Pete Tomadu back down and pacing and again comes forward out three. Back in the field is McRubble. They're followed by Billy the Bad and Taffadelli back last as they turn off the back straight. JC Jock and uh, Kyle Marshall lead from Arcano the outside and God's Delight will wait the uh, BJ Towers plumbing passing lane in the home straight third. They're followed then uh, Bally is fourth and Park. Pete Tomadu comes forward out three. Ahoka Bud now all dressed up, nowhere to go. Three back on the inside, cut the cards. And Murphy Brown come forward out three wide around. Soul Man, Celtic Warrior. He's going to need plenty of luck from back there on the inside. Billy the Bad comes to the outside for Scotty Phelan. And uh, back in the field then to McRubble and Taffadelli. Coming for home, Pete Tomadu goes around. JC Jock who goes for a gallop there. Uh, God's Delight to the outside and working home has cut the cards. 
There followed Murphy Brown and Soul Man Billy the Bad out wide. A Celtic Warrior getting through on uh, the BJ Towers. Plumbing passing lane now as Pete Tomadu gallops in front. Cut the cards, gets to it. God's delight. And Celtic Warrior rushing up the passing lane. Then Murphy Brown, Celtic Warrior's on the scene. Oh, the heavens opened up and Celtic Warrior pokes through and he's home. Celtic Warrior to beat Cut the Cards and uh, Murphy Brown third. Pete Tomadu, well, he cost himself a winning chance with a gallop in the home straight and also a gallop uh, down the back for Pete Tomadu. Then God's Delight further back in the field, Soul Man, Bellius. They were followed in by uh, McRubble further back in the field, a hoke of Bud. Uh, Billy the Bad back, Taffadelli, JC Jock. He lost his chance with a gallop coming to the...